Dear Purple Lights, so <clears throat> this reading is about the next chapter in your life, the next big chapter in your life. So let's see what comes out. So first of all, we're going to draw the cards. This is pile one. <clears throat> Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or to lose. Lyndon B. Johnson. So this is the quote. If you're drawn to this quote, please pick this quote. Isn't it beautiful? Let's get three. <clears throat> Let's get three quotes. What is the second quote? Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear I rise. Maya Angelou. <clears throat> and part three. Do not wait. The time will never be just right. Napoleon Hill. So those are the three beautiful quotes. So choose your quote. Now we're going to see what chapter comes next. Wait a minute. So guys, now you can look at those beautiful quotes and you can choose one. My name is Purple. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> so we're starting with pile one okay i see you at the piles guys bye hello pile one you chose the beautiful quote yesterday is, is not ours to recover but tomorrow is ours to win or to lose so it's not about yesterday it's all about tomorrow and also today yeah because we cannot even say what is tomorrow. So I always think today is the most important um, task. So let's see what important chapter comes next. Please have one, give me a card. Communication, wow. Okay, so that's beautiful. So let's see what this is. There's a transformation in communication. Wow. <clears throat> let's see what this is all about. Can you tell me what is this um, communication all about? There is a change in communication coming. What is going on here for pile one? So it says, interesting, <clears throat> number 80, it says between dreams, very interesting card. I want to show you the card. We have here Mugwort, between dreams, Mugwort, this is the, the plant. We see feathers. This is communication with your angels. Then we also have the key here. Um, I think you see this coming in dreams. Yeah, I feel it's between dreams. You know, you, you might think you're dreaming when you see this for the first time. Let's get one more card. What important chapter is coming next for part one? <clears throat> what important chapter coming next for part one? What is this communication all about? Okay, release the old and rest. Wow. And we had this here. Okay. <clears throat> Between dreams. I want to read this. I want to get this book.
It's all about communication. And I feel something will happen in autumn. So, I mean, we have July now. So autumn starts in um, October. So I feel something here at the end of September, beginning of October, you will release the old. Yeah, there's something that needs to rest. Interesting. Let's see what this is. Let's see what the tarot cards tell us. I'm only reading upright. What is this communication here? What important chapter is coming next? What is communication for part one? These two. Wow, we have the Knight of Cups. There is an offer coming. Look at this, the strength card, the dragon. There is an offer coming your way. Wow. <clears throat> and the Eight of Cups. Interesting, right? It almost feels as if you're leaving a situation behind because we have here again this person leaving the situation behind. Yeah, if you if you look at this card, it's very dark. And um, <clears throat> this person is leaving to their nine of cups, to their wish fulfillment. I feel here between the dreams, I mean, I want to look up this card, but it almost feels um, for me as if there is a stage between that before this night can come in, before this offer can come in, you have to walk. This This is an offer of communication I'm feeling here. Yeah. Before this offer of communication is coming in, you need to release something. There is here a release. We have the release in autumn and we have this walking away from a situation. What is this release here? What spirit? What is this release? It says, <clears throat> Philosopher's Stone, powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. See, there is <clears throat> communication coming in. I feel here someone is coming in that's bringing you your cup. Some powerful manifestation is happening here. But this is in the future. Before, you have to let go. Can you tell me one more card? What needs to let go here, Pal 1? What needs Pal 1 to let go? <clears throat> Achievement. Win the award, a collate or contract. I feel here almost this win this award, this strive. The perfect, it's it's all, of, I feel here it's about perfectionism. Walking away from the need. I mean, it's a feeling here. I feel here you're walking away from the need to be right or from the need to achieve a certain thing. It's you realize that you cannot achieve this the way you wanted to achieve it or it does not matter anymore to you if you are achieving it. That's what I'm feeling. Let me get the cards here. Let me see what it says. <clears throat> Maybe also the achievement of communication, guys. This could also be that you have to work for the need of having a communication with that person between dreams. Magward lives in the space between deep rest and waking. She is the daughter of moonlight and protector of those who travel the dream time. Magward curls around your mind, whispering your dreams into words and images that you can clutch 
as you climb level of consciousness and return to your waking self. Ah. Call on her to guide you through dreams or journey work. Okay, it's all about dreams. Between dreams, between the still state of realm. <clears throat> I also feel, guys, um, when I see this, there is some big manifestation coming your way. I also want to see with Tarot what this is. And um, I feel also with this dream card that you communicate with your spirit guides through dreams. I really feel this. This is uh, someone coming your way to offer you their cup of love or you offering your gift. You're bringing your gift to the world on this spiritual journey. That's what I'm feeling here. And you need to let go of this. What I see here, what you need to release. Look at this. We have the crow here and the crow here. That's important. Maybe the crow is your spirit animal. This crow will help you to release. Once you release this, I feel here the release also of expectations. The release of that you have to fulfill certain expectations once you release this you will move forward interesting maybe also in autumn this person is coming in please apply it as it fits what is this manifestation can you tell me again what is this manifestation here for pile one The two of shields. Interesting. There's a decision. See here. I feel here that the two of shields, we have winter here. But this could also mean that you are in winter. You feel alone and there is another person coming in. Because I also I always see the two of shields, the two of pentacles as a soul connection. Someone is coming there to help you, that you're not juggling anymore. You don't need to juggle anymore. Maybe you're working two jobs or, um, yeah, you're, you're in an unstable situation. That's what I'm feeling. And the manifestation that's coming in, that's a, it has to do with a decision to bring stability to your life. It could also have to do that someone is coming and helping you with money. Someone is coming to help you out. Yeah, that you're not feeling this alone anymore. This could really be someone who helps to carry your load, you know. So this could be a soulmate that's coming in with the crow. Maybe their spirit animal is crow. This person is coming from far away. I see that. And I feel here you get guidance and communication through dreams. That's why I think the dreams are here, okay? So, wow. <clears throat> you must tell me what it is. It's coming in in autumn, guys. <laughs> so that's all what I'm having, part one. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to this channel. Bye, guys. So, hello, pile two. Into a day break that's wondrously clear, I rise. So, let's see. You chose that quote. Let's see what's happening next for you. What's happening next or what is the next big chapter in your life? We have um, this card, the turtle. Oh my gosh, common turtles. <laughs> uh, I, have to, I have to laugh, guys. Oh my gosh, the turtle is coming. I can't believe. You're seeing, you're seeing clear, clearer about the turtle, common tortoise. <laughs> common turtle. Yeah, we have to common turtles here on my channel. Page 39. So this could mean that 39 is an important number. Steady on the path, you know. <laughs> this is so funny. What is this? I want to know. What is this turtle? What is coming in with the turtles? I rise. Something beautiful is coming. It's like you have not expected this, I'm feeling here. 
what is going on here okay wow no way <gasps> oh my gosh big t hello we have lightning so this is telling me that something happening here with the turtles i know the lightning is for me <clears throat> wow look at this <laughs> This represents our turtles. I can't believe this. The lightning, I told you, that's a good sign. People always say, no, purple is not right. Lightning is something bad. Fire is something bad. No, guys. In our channel, on our channel, if you're a true purple light, you know that there is something coming from your person, guys. <gasps> wow. Something from your crush, something from your, <clears throat> your soul connection person. Your twin flame your soulmate there's something coming on they're steady on their path into a daybreak that's wondrously clear there's some information coming in i'm feeling here i rise oh my gosh what's going on let's see what the tarot says oh i want to have one of these cards first what is going on here with our turtles universe what is the next big chapter in pile two's life what's happening with the turtles <coughs> drop your shields protection guardian so <coughs> there's protection coming oh that's why she she you know look at this angel that angel is folding their wings as if they want to protect this union Wow. Well, we all ha also have the mushrooms here. <laughs> I want to read what the turtles are. Come on. That's so funny. Number 39. Let's read this. <laughs> yeah, this is all protected, guys. 39. So let's see what's the turtle saying. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. <laughs> Slow and steady says Turtwas, well versed in the way of time. Turtwas was born ancient, older than snake or alligator, and certainly older than humans. As other species have changed, evolved, and shifted, turtle has remained steadfast. Late to almost everything, turtle is the totem of the slow bloomer. <laughs> and of our divine masculines. Um, you didn't miss the boat simply because your first few decades have passed. Connect with the earth. Take a siesta. It's through the slow and steady that we truly come to know ourselves. <laughs> Turtles carries her home on her back and that home, her shell, is often decorated um, with 13 scoots, the patterned squares of a tortoise shell. Wow! The 13 scutes are set to reflect the 13 full moons of the year. Wow! I didn't know that. She is a universe unto herself. <clears throat> the question Turtwas asks, can you come together with others not from a place of need, but from the peace of your own center, contently balanced between your own earth and skies? so they're moving slowly yeah we know so the turtles are referring that everything is all right you know it's it's also um maybe you get also the clarity that it has to be steady and slow you know and that everything is protected so what is the next chapter here that's a chapter between you and your divine masculine what is the next chapter here what's coming for part two wow and i'm not reading reverses i mean this guy this card was reversed but um i'm reading upwards today so the truth is coming guys there is i told you there is some clarity this is enlightenment and clarity the next chapter there's clarity with your turtle coming along wow we love this what's what is this strength yes also that um you see you are protected you know look at this we have these 
um, race that's coming up on the two of them. And then we have the woman and the dragon. Wow, number eight, strength. Yeah, keep holding on, you know, you're protected. Everything is all right. One more card, the star. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Wow. Well, the next chapter in your life, I feel here what's coming along is that you really get clarity. You get clarity on who your divine masculine is. You get clarity on why this turtle is so slow. You get clarity why this union is protected. I feel there is clarity coming. Yeah, the ace of swords. The truth is coming your way. So you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. At the bottom of the cup, at the bottom of the cup, at the bottom of the, it's the union card, the ten of, um, ten of cups. And this is for me, the union card in the deck. So, wow. This is beautiful. So there is a divine union already and you will feel this. You will get clarity. You don't need to. Um, I feel here you can drop your shields. You know, you can enjoy really this um, connection again because here you see the strength and she has to be very strong. She has to be almost like a dragon. She has to... Um, have strength in this journey and I feel here this is healing yeah there's healing coming um, alignment yeah I feel here with the lightning that um, all the enemies are like <laughs> get their karma the feeling that's beautiful what is what is the next chapter in pile two's life what is going on here we have upper capadabra with wings that's crazy Fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. Wow. Africadabra with wings. <laughs> I feel here um, something is coming your way. Something unexpectedly. Yeah. Good fortune and fantastic um, chances. So this tells me something will manifest that will drop your shields and you will see it everything clear. What is the next big chapter in Pal 2's life? <clears throat> we have the Tree of Life coming out. And it says, True wisdom in making good choices in life. Wow. So again, wisdom, guys. We have the wisdom card here. Yeah. So I really feel that there is karma coming. Karma to the enemies of this connection you are protected by the angels here um they're healing that you have to stand up against everyone you know i'm, I'm really feeling a lot of clarity um, about who your person is about why they're taking so slow so all these beautiful things are coming your way so this is perfect like man this is so beautiful i really love this reading wow so that's all what I'm having pile two. I hope you like this reading. That's amazing. Bye guys. Hello pile three. You chose do not wait. The time will never be just right. So I feel there's something that you want to do but you have not tried or you have not seen. So what is the next big chapter in pile three's life? What is the next big chapter in oof? What is the next big chapter in Pile Three's life? Make manifest. Wow, what is this? Make manifest. We have the beaver. 95 might be an important number look at this they're happy make manifesting there's a there's a purple feather wow what is this wow make manifest yeah it's like um go on go on with your work you know <laughs> do what you gotta do to manifest a job there's something here or a hobby or look at this purple flower this pink flower what is this pile for pile three do not wait the time will never be just right 
What is the next big chapter in their life? <clears throat> wow. Look at this. You're right connected to source, guys. So this tells me that um, you should enlighten something from your soul. This is, you get insight from source that um, you should bring your light out. I also feel like, you know, with this make manifest, do not wait. The time will never be just right. Um, bring out the light in yourself. Shine, shine into the world, I'm hearing. Let's, let's read what the beaver says. Number 95. Beaver doesn't just sit around thinking. See? That's what I was saying. He plans and executes, carefully damming up waterways to construct the ponds and swamp lands where he builds his island home. And that home, it's a marvel of modern engineering with an underwater entrance, snug dry bedrooms and plenty of storage for winter food. Beaver knows how to fundamentally change landscapes, bring water to barren areas. Call on Beaver when you are ready for foundational change. Whether it is remaking an inner landscape or creating something new in a world of change. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. So this is about manifest manifesting yourself, your light. Yeah, whatever light you carry within you. Bring it out, basically. Bring it out. What's the next important chapter in Pi 3's life? So I feel here you will spread your light. Can I see what this is? For Pi 3 universe. The Nine of Cauldrons. Wish Fulfillment. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Nine of cauldrons and then someone's head is chopped off. <laughs> what is this? I feel this is your old self. This is again this rebirth card. This is for me this, um, you know, birth yourself new. Birth. This is a rebirth for me. Birth yourself new. Birth your light out of yourself, you know. Um, create, make, manifest. Yeah, five of cauldrons. Look at this. Wow. I feel here that, um, you know, you're looking at all the things that don't work. But what you're not seeing is the rainbow. You know, this is the pot. The pot at the end of the rainbow and we know what this means this is your luck your change your chance your lucky the the source and what we're seeing here the, the pot at the end of the rainbow is not somewhere far it's even behind you it's like you're not even seeing it you already have the pot of the rainbow i'm seeing here yeah go out into the world and make it happen Make manifest. Look at this. Bring it out. Let the volcano break out. Yeah, sit on your dragon. Be strong. And this is the Ace of Wands. You know, bring out your birthright. Bring out your gift. Make manifest. This is exactly this card. And here you see that you don't need to be sad. You don't know. You don't. Um. You know. You don't need to think about or. <clears throat> it's like you're waiting for a long time for this rebirth you're waiting for a long time for your wish fulfillment but what you're not seeing is that the wish fulfillment is in you is behind you is with you yeah you already have the, the pot with you the pot of gold you don't need to look it for on the outside it's like here you're waiting for someone else that brings you the pot of gold the, the lucky pot you know and you're waiting on you waiting look at this you there are already spider webs and that maybe this is also another person you know maybe they promised you the world and they didn't bring it to you you chopped their head off you know so what this is saying is the next chapter in your life is you will realize that this pot of gold that this gift is already inside of you you have the gift to bring out to this world 
it's not found somewhere else guys it's your source it's in your source energy yeah and bottom of the deck whew, it's the fool guys the new chapter you will see that you need to jump from the cliff you need to go this is beautiful oh i forgot to take one of these cards let's get one more card what is the next chapter of pile three person's life Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. <clears throat> yeah, maybe that's why you're you're not seeing the look at this. We have this big buffalo behind her. Yeah? And you're you're standing there and you want to give the peace pipe to another culture, you know, or to someone else in order to make peace again because you think they can give you something that you need but what you're not seeing is you have the big buffalo the big buffalo is behind you you don't need to make peace with other people it's like you always try to not you see here you always trusted other people but what they did was they um you know basically they misused you or you know you could not fulfill your wishes outside with other people but you always tried you know you always sit there and waited you you want to give them a feast you want to keep the peace you invited them yeah it's like you're inviting people but all what they give you is chopped heads <laughs> so that's not what you want what you want is light what you want is abundance yeah and what you don't see is that the abundance is already with you so you need to let it break out like a volcano and to make it happen yeah so the next chapter in your life will be exactly this that you make manifest that you manifest this buffalo into the real world <laughs> what is happening what is the next big chapter for part three inside opens the third eye to strengthen intuition see you will see that everything is inside of you you will have the insight that it's not and it's funny that that's a word play it's an english word play you will have an insight that it's not on the outside you will get your abundance it's on the inside what big thing is manifesting and we have the elements and it says the elements of fire air earth and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries spiritual mental physical and emotional so you will be protected you don't need to worry that someone else is chopping your head off again <laughs> i feel here in order to in order like in your past in order to experience this wish fulfillment here you always had to keep peace with someone you always had to make peace you had to um, make these feasts you know to sacrifice something because this is also a sacrifice for me this feels almost like a sacrifice in order to get what you want and you always had to sacrifice something and it made you sad you always looked on the outside what you're not seeing is that the buffalo is you yeah so don't wait around and the next big chapter is that the volcano for you breaks out and you will go into the world and you you let your source light shine yeah you will bring the buffalo out guys <laughs> <coughs> perfect so that's all what i'm having guys i hope you like it please take care bye